Right, welcome back everybody. I uh, hope you all had a good Christmas and a happy new year. Today I thought I'd just bring you into the shed and show you what sort of gifts I got that are gonna help go towards the channel. So happy new year and let's see what we've got. Right then, so I hope you all had a good new year. There's a few things I wanna to touch on today. Uh, we've got plenty of new gifts here to show you. So I've got a new channel name now. It's gonna be Project Man from now on. I'll be getting some stickers and that made up. So if you do want one of the new stickers that will be coming in, I'll let you know once they've all come in. And if anyone wants one, they can just drop me an email and I'll happily send them out free of charge. And we got quite a few presents coming. I received this one in the post. And this one, a sorted box of nuts, bolts and washers, which are gonna come in really handy can't have enough bolts and uh, nuts and there was a little note with this this uh, should come from um high scrap it man hope you make good use from this uh, and that's from snobby and dusty so snobby scrap picker and dusty vlogs thank you very much for that they're going to come in well andy and there will be a link in the description below for snobby and dusty's channel so if you haven't already got them head over there and give them a little sub and ring the bell because they do some good content. Dusty started doing a few cooking videos as well now. She does some nice spare ribs, um, which my mum and dad have had a go at and they, they told us about it as well. So we're on it as well now at my house and they're fantastic. So yeah, head over to Dusty's and see what sort of stuff she does on there. And Snobby, he does a lot of obviously scrap stuff as it's the clues in his name. But he's started uh, doing some out and about in the scrapyards, which I find interesting. I like seeing all the scrapyard stuff in the scrapyards and all the machines doing their stuff. So yeah, really interesting stuff there. So head out and go and check them two channels out. You also remember in my last video or video two videos back, I got some stickers from Cars Exposed from Igor. So I'm going to stick one of them on the board now. I'll say I'm going to get another board done, I think, for the poly tunnel because that'll be featuring quite a bit in the future videos down there so it'd be nice to have a sticker board in there on the back wall so and these are really that's the backing of the sticker that it's really nice finish on that i like that so that will just go in there and that will nearly just finish off that board i've probably got enough for two small ones or one longer one and i will leave a link in the description below for igor so what have we got here then right then so what i'm going to start with i'm going to start with this and this was a milwaukee angle grinder and that come from my mum and dad that wasn't on my wish list that was just uh something they knew that i needed and to stop me nicking my dad's one all the time so i probably still will you will use this one though and keep this one in good nick and they also got me some flappy discs and some cutting discs to go with it so that's a nice little selection and they also got me a, a pair of dewalt uh, goggles there for protection so that's uh, really appreciated. Thank you very much, mother and father. Uh, what else did we get? I did show you this in the video just before Christmas. That come from my sister Tracy and her family from Cyprus. That was on my wish list. So another um, good present going to come in handy there. And I won't get onto this stuff yet. This is a... I don't know if I have to get it out. This is something I've ordered this. And this is for the TZR project. And that's a, a new kickstart there. So I weren't going to mess about with the old one, trying to fix it and bodge it up. Let's just start to get a fresh new one. So that's that. Really handy. And also what else I bought was this service kit, which is for the stealth. Stealth. The steel, I think it's a, is it a TS400? I can't remember. Um, disc cutter. So that will be coming up in a future video. Uh, full service on that. All the rest of this stuff that you can see on the table actually come from uh, my wife Stacy and the three children. Some of it was on the wish list and some of it wasn't. So what they got me there was a couple of cans of carb spray. We've also got some copper grease or copper slip, some people call it. It's a bit wet that bit, so I won't take that out. Also, these are coming handy. I've, I've got more ways to do with these. And that's a trim tool remover set, because I always use screwdrivers and end up damaging 
bits of plastic or something. So yeah, that's going to come in really handy. Yeah, I think I've done really well this Christmas. It's all stuff that I'm going to use because people always say to me, what do you want for Christmas? And I never know. So what I said is just have a look on my wish list. So what I've got here, I've got two of these because they do tend to uh, break down pretty quickly. And that's the old, oh, what do you call them? The rotary tool, um, Dremel sort of thing. So I've, did, I've actually got two of them and that come with a box of uh, attachments, different sanding discs and cutting bits and little drill bits. So yeah, really handy there. A little fl uh, flame gun. Some uh, air fresheners, not air fresheners. Air filters for when I'm doing the lawn mowers. Some paints that I use, the engine enamel silver. And there's just so much stuff in here. Petrol resistant lacquer. Another tin of carb spray. Some primer bulbs, which always come in handy. I've also put this on my wish list. It's one of them things that meant to be able to get off rounded sockets. I've just bought that really just to try. I've never used one. I've seen them advertised and are oh, they as good as that they make they are so. And the last thing in this bag was some multi-purpose grease. Again, come in handy for working on the cars and bikes. You'd have seen it in my dad's one. I think Mick Moe has done a video on this as well. And that's the old uh, drill holder for the wall where you can just screw your rack to the wall and then your drills and impact guns just slide underneath. So. That'll be a nice little addition, so I'll put that back in there. So I've really done really well this uh, Christmas. And I also got an LED light and a stand. So I've got a ring light, just to hopefully give us a bit of better lighting in here when we do a bit of filming. And that comes on a tripod. I won't bother opening that, let's show you on the box. And then we got these two little beasts. A lot of you may know that I do have these two DeWalt uh, drill and impact guns. And what we've got, there, they're the small little 10 volt ones and they are they're really handy for like the household stuff but they're not just man enough for the jobs that i want to be doing so stacy and the kids actually went out and bought me the 18 volt we've got a nice big uh, big beefier one there and that's going to do a lot more substantial jobs for working on vehicles the bigger the diy jobs so we've got that one there and then this one We've got the impact. So yeah, really fantastic presents. Uh, I've done really well this year. All this stuff is just gonna help with the channel. It's everything that I use on the channel. It's all channel related basically. And I need to do a few little jobs in this shed still. What I'm gonna be looking at doing is I need to clear all this out of here. This has just been put in here for the white horrible weather outside. Uh, I'm gonna get another little bit of worktop, maybe about a foot wide and the length of this, this window up to this worktop. And I'm actually gonna mount my vise on this one so then that leaves me a nice big free space here. And if I, cause the vise is not an everyday thing so I can just mount it on here. And I'm probably gonna get another shelf running all the way along here. Just out to here again, maybe a foot, just under a foot. And that'll give me more storage space on there for all my, my cans and stuff, tins of spray and carb spray. So it's just making the space that we've got. And I've also got this double wall unit here, which I may sit under here and that will keep all power tools in that and that'll keep all the dust and crap off them, obviously, because it's got doors on it. So yeah, a few little changes to come in the shed. You might wonder why I've got my jacket on, because it's bloody freezing, it's minus two out there. So I've got the old three bar heater on up there. What I might actually do now is I might just put you on a bit of time lapse while I quickly build this gun cabinet for the drills and that.
as you can see, it is up, and I think it is slightly on the wonk, but who's perfect? It looks a little bit lower this end. I've put a level on it. It is inside the bubble, in the lines, but it's just slightly dropping to the right, I reckon. If you have a look on that, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it does slightly look a bit on the wonk to me, but who cares, hey? So, yeah, I'm happy with that. It come with two chargers. There's a charger in each box. I've got a spare charger, and I've also got my charger for my um, other smaller drills. So, yeah, I'm happy with how it's looking in there. I've still got a few things to sort out here, but I really want to get cleared out under the unit, and then I want to put this, as I say, this double cupboard down here, and a little worktop along there, and I could maybe use that shelf in under that worktop under there, so. That'll just give me a nice bit of storage where I can stay, keep stuff clean, what I don't want covered in crap, basically. And the bite will be coming out of here. So, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a bit of a random one. Not a lot going on. It's just showing you what I've got for, for Christmas, basically. And to tell you what the new channel name is. So, I say, it is Project Man. So, if you do want to grab yourself a sticker when they're ready, I'll make a little video once I've got them. Uh, showing them what they are and if you want one just send us a, an email with your address and I'll, as I say I'll happily post you one out of free of charge not a problem and vice versa if you've got stickers that I haven't got on my board I'm going to leave it here for this one and again check out Dusty and Snobby's links down below and I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and here's to a happy new year mm -hmm.